This is a hard VC methods question, but really important to understand before your first sac. In this case, we're asked to sketch the derivative of this function. We don't necessarily know the equation, but based on the shape and based on the trends, we should be able to get a rough sketch of what the derivative looks like. So I've noted down some key points and I've just given a bit of a description. So to the far left, we have a flattening curve because we're asymptoting towards y equals negative one, but we can see we're actually slightly positive because we still have a positive gradient because we're getting closer to the asymptote as we go left. Same thing on the right hand side, we're a flattening curve because we're approaching y is equal to positive one asymptote, but we're still slightly positive. We've never flattened off yet because by definition, asymptotes you always get closer to, but you don't necessarily touch them. Now in this middle point here, it's definitely a positive gradient, and we can assume that this is the maximal dy dx because you can see we've reached this origin point and then we start to flatten off as we get closer to the other asymptote. So what we can assume is that we have a slightly positive start, we have a peak in the middle, at x is equal to zero or on the y-axis, and then we flatten off again. What we need to assume is that we have an asymptote at y is equal to zero on our dy dx function. And this is because our gradient actually never reaches zero. So it makes sense that we have an asymptote here. And our peak can be anywhere because this is just a rough sketch. So I'm just gonna put the peak roughly here. And we're gonna have a bit of a bell curve shape. So we're gonna have a maximum at this coordinate here. It doesn't matter what it is. You don't need to, you don't have to put any coordinates what we need to know is that we're approaching the asymptote from the left, we're reaching that peak in the middle, and then we asymptote again with a symmetrical shape towards x is equal to infinity. Again, we don't need any labels on our curve apart from y is equal to zero, because that's the only information we know. Done.